Hey guys, good morning. Um, okay, so here in today's session, I will uh, try to explain you what exactly Amazon's uh, new feature FSX. So so far we have EFS Elastic File System. We use that for uh, uh, Linux operating system. So basically EFS, like it is a NFS version 4.1. Like you can mount, uh, you can create a file system, you can mount to any of the EC2 instance and you can access. Even now, Amazon enabled um, cross region mounting option also, like you can create uh, EFS in Northern Virginia and like you can mount that to your uh, Mumbai region EC2 instances also. So when coming to this new one, Amazon introduced this FSX in uh, reInvent 2018. November 2018, they have introduced this. So, you can create a file system for Windows operating system and you can uh, share, you can mount that file system to multiple Windows operating system and you can use that. So here is a FSX, so let me go here. So before starting with this FSX, you need to have Active Directory. So this FSX is designed for Windows operating system. So for a Windows operating system, you need to have a directory service and I already have this. And if you don't know how to create a directory service, so please uh, refer to another video. I made a video on um, like um, AWS directory services. So you can go through that video and first prepare the directory service. So then I have launched and Windows operating system, Windows Server 2012 R2. And this machine is running in domain. Okay, so here, this is a machine. So this machine is already added to the domain. Here it is um, added to avinas.com domain. So, so now I'm going to create an EFSX and I'm going to mount that file system here. So just navigate to this page and click on create file system. And the first one is Amazon FSX for Windows file server. You can use for Windows file server. And the second one FSX for Lustre. So this is uh, one of the uh, file system type you can use. So I'm selecting FSX for Windows file server, then click on next. And here, like what is the, how much capacity you want to give? What is the name you want to give? So Windows FS and the minimum size is 300 gigs. So, but you know, this is pay as you go. So like how much you are using, you're going to get charged for that. So this is some like a storage capacity values and all. And here in what VPC you are creating, you want to create this FSX. So like you can select your VPC in what availability zone you want to, uh, yeah, like uh, in what availability zone where you want to create your file system. So like uh, I'm going to create this in US East 1B. And then you can select default submit group and here is a VPC security group. So make sure the required ports are open whenever you are mounting your, whenever you are facing an issue, whenever you are facing an issue. So try to mount that, uh, try to look for that file system ports and all and try to uh, open that specific ports in the security group. And here is a Windows uh, authentication and um, here you need to select the domain. This is mandatory as this is a Windows machine. So again, we don't have any option to disable the encryption. So if you want to go with the default one or else if you have a KMS, you can give the KARN Amazon resource name of that key pair. So like you can. So I'm selecting and click on next. And this is a review page. And um, click on create file system. So here one file system is creating. So basically this is going to take a lot of time. Here you can find the status. It is in creating state now. So uh, I'm going to pause this video for some time. Once this got created, I will show you how to mount that. Thank you. Okay, so finally our file system is available now. And here you can find that. So. Now I want to mount this to one of the EC2 instance. So I have a couple of EC2 instances. This is instance one and this is instance two. So like both are running in different availability zone. So I've already connected to these instances. So this is my instance one. 
So now just go to Amazon um, FSX and select that. And here you can find an option called attach. So click on attach option. And here uh, is some instructions like um, if your machine is not running in a domain, uh, like or within an active directory so you can follow this wizard and you can add an instance to this or you can uh, go and create a new active directory so you can perform all these and um, after your machine joined to active directory you can use this so net space use you can give a drive letter or else we really no need to go with all the steps just copy this file system url go to your ec2 instance and uh, go to my computer or this PC, go to computer. Here you can find map network drive. Click there and get that file system ID and uh, click on finish. So there automatically uh, one network location got added. This is a one. Now whenever you go inside, whatever the files you are creating here, this is not going to create in the local machine. This is going to create in the attached FSX. So let me create this. So test. So this file is created from instance one. I have saved and closed this. And now this is a one. So now I have another EC2 instance that is running in another availability zone, not even same as our uh, EFS. So our EFS is running um, in us east 1b but within the same vpc so but my instance is in us east 1a i got connected to that instance here it is us east 1a so let me try to mount this and let me verify go to computer map network drive give the path click on finish so here you can see automatically we got the file we created in instance one so again so like this is a centralized uh, file storage solution for all our uh, Windows machine. Then again, uh, uh, about the permissions and all. So we have to manage file level permissions for this FSX. And if you want to create a backup copy for this FSX, you can go to this backups. And here one automatic backup is created. Amazon is going to manage this backup for us. Manually, if you want to create, just go to actions and click on create backup and give the backup name so one backup copy is going to create for us so these are network and security one automatically network interface is going to create and attach to our file system and these are the security groups running with and this is an active directory associated and this is a dns name you can grab this dns name and you can and maintenance window so if you want to edit we need to uh, we can perform this using um, um, cli so here is a backup option like you can go and you can create backup options manually. So this is all about uh, FSX. So how we have EFS for Linux the same way we can and even you can mount this for um, different uh, options like uh, Amazon workspaces like it's a for uh, client class operating system you can use this and VMware cloud on AWS you can uh, use and for Amazon app stream you can just follow the simple steps then you can find how you can mount that and all. Okay, so that's it for this video guys. And again, for Active Directory, Directory Services, refer to another video and create that first, add your machine to the domain, then after perform this FSX. Thanks for watching.